we are going to factor this out. We have t to the fourth power minus 25 t squared plus 144. This is a trinomial, and we see that there is no common factor that we can factor out. So we'll go ahead and use the take total method to factor this out. So we begin by asking ourselves what times what will give us t to the fourth power, and let's do it in a more balanced way. We need to have t squared times t squared, right? That will give us t to the fourth power. Even though t times t to the third power will end up t to the fourth power, but as I said, this is the more balanced way. Alright, and now we have to figure out what times what will give us past the 144. We do have a couple possibilities, right? We know 144 times 1 is going to give us 144, but I know I have to end up with negative 25 in a second. So I know that's obviously not the right choice. 144 and 1 is too big, right? Too far apart. I'm going to look at 144 as I say 12 times 12. 12 times 12 is going to be 144, right? But then if I put in, let me just show you, this is the top process I have to work out. If I put in 12 and 12, I have to do this and that, right? So t squared times 12 is, well, 12 t squared and then 12 times t squared is another 12 t squared. First, I have a trouble because I need to have a negative number right here. So technically, I should have choose both of them being negative, but in this case, I will just end up negative 12 t squared, negative 12 t squared. These two together will give us negative 24. So that's not the right combination because I want to end up negative 25 t squared. So you see, I tried it, it didn't work. Then what I do is I erased my choice and then I will try the next one. Okay, but I was kind of close. So I'm just going to kind of pick a different number and hope for the best. So I will go down, so 12 and then the next one will be 11, but 11 doesn't go into 144, so I'll go down to 10. 10 doesn't go into 144, I will try 9 then. 9 times what will be 144? In fact, it works, 9 times 16 is 144. So I'm going to try to have 9 and 16 right here, but as we saw earlier, we technically need negative 9 and negative 16, because we see t squared times negative 16, that will give us negative 16 t squared, and then negative 9 times t squared, that will give us negative 9 t squared. These two together, we get negative 25 t squared, so we see that we got our right choice. Okay, so that means this is going to be t squared minus 9 as the first factor, and then we multiply with the second factor, which is t squared minus 16. But then are we done? No, because this right here, once again, we can factor it. This is going to be a difference of two squares. This is t squared minus three squared, right? The nine is the same as three squared. So for the first one, we can factor this out as t minus three, and let me change color for you guys. t minus three times t plus three. This right here, it's for t squared minus 9. How about this? We have t squared minus 16. Can we also factor this out? Yes, we can, because the 16 is the same as 4 to the second power. So t squared minus 4 squared, we will end up with t minus 4 times t plus 4. And this right here will be the final result. This is the factoring for that. That's all.